no. Just no. <laughs> what? Just smooth, like butter, this tea. What like, happened? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, no, what? Silky, Wait, what? Smooth like the rivals. <laughs> yes. Ah, precisely. That was a little more, that was a little more smilky than silky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a smidge. <laughs> I'm just pretending I don't know any of you. (laughs) (laughs) She's very busy. She's working on something important. Exactly. (laughs) Right. Uh, Hello, everybody. Uh, Welcome to this completely professional episode of Rivals of Waterdeep. Uh, We are the rivals and we are professionals. (laughs) Sometimes. Professional what? Anyway, going on with the introduction. Nobody said we know what we were doing. We just said that we were professionals. (laughs) That's right. Yeah. And nondescript. Uh, hi, uh, we're very happy to be back after a <laughs> thrilling cliffhanger last week that oh absolutely nobody saw coming. <laughs> and I'm just so thrilled that my machinations went undetected for several, several, several episodes. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about it. So I'm going to start letting people introduce themselves, uh, <laughs> starting with uh the person of the episodes uh tanya who who are you what are you playing where are you help i'm at home thankfully um but i keep coming back here with you all i don't know why um i'm salise which salise we'll figure it out later you just have to find out uh but e- both salises are she her as am i and current salise is paladin ranger other salise we'll find out Mysteries abound. Uh, Sharif. Hey everybody, um, Sharif, he, him, uh, playing Shaka, Celestial Tiefling Warlock, uh, also he, him. Uh, looking forward to see what uh, goes on, uh, mainly with Maggie. I'm not going to lie. like That's really what I'm concerned with uh, through this season is uh, ch- checking in on Maggie and making sure things are cool. Fantastic. Uh, we welcome back Brian this week, who, uh, you know, when, who, who clearly is our 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 compass for everything good because as soon as he goes away everything turns to chaos one week yeah <laughs> one we- i was away one week and this we- happens okay yeah. Yeah. yes hi i am brian uh i play virgil your asmr sorcerer virgil's pronouns are he him my pronouns are he they and i am watching every single one of you <laughs> excellent Eugenio. Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. Uh, I'm DM Jazzy Hens. I use DM pronouns. Uh, and I will be playing Kent, our tiefling uh, rogue. I almost said tiefling warlock because I apparently am introducing Shaka. Uh, <laughs> our tiefling rogue who also uses he, him pronouns. Uh, and since Shaka's got Maggie and is going to take care of Maggie, then I am going to uh, make sure, you know, that I check in on Abigail, Phyllis, Jameson, and, and oh, well, we know Sophia. And old lady number three. You just got to say, Matia playing an entire town was the best part of the oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, I, It was so good, and I had so much fun writing down all their names and what yeah. they wanted. And then I got to the last one and was like, we're so close to the end, I'm not going to ask this lady's name. I'll remember. Uh, yeah. And wrote <laughs> old, old lady, lady number, number three. three. <laughs> uh, and Masood. Hey, everyone. I'm Masood. I play Gazak Nomrad, everyone's favorite socialist businessman druid. Uh, both her pronouns are he, him. And honestly, I don't even know what Gazak's trying to comprehend right now. There's so much going on. And frankly, I think he's just assuming that this is another doppelganger instantly, which will be my first. I, I Did we resolve the insight role? Was that the last role? I, okay. We no, I don't think we did resolve the insight role, but I was going to say your insight roles across the board last week were on point. Thank so goodness. thank you've got goodness. like whatever's happening you've got like a good measure of it except this just kind of like knocked the wind out of your sails you're like this is the last thing i was expecting oh go oh, good confirmation that i am confused <laughs> <laughs> and uh i am your dungeon master latia jakees uh who plays everybody i play the entirety of Waterdeep. Mm-hmm. Um, pronouns vary uh but i also play dahani whose pronouns are she her and uh she's here um, so with that out of the way, we're going to jump right into some, uh, sponsored ad reads because people support us in doing the shenanigans every week and we would like to thank them. So take it away, Sharif. Yeah, let's thank some people. Uh, first let's start with d d Beyond. Uh, they've been supporting us literally since day one. Um, our character sheets are all, uh, all digitized. We can manage encounters, roll dice, look up spells, uh, research NPCs or monsters, all that good stuff. Uh, check them out at dndbeyond.com. 
uh, usually we give away one legendary bundle uh, every uh, week, which is uh, great. But uh, the town hall was so invigorating last week um, that the uh, legendary bundle got lost in the sauce a little bit. So this week we'll be giving away two legendary bundles. So uh, make sure if you are in the chat l- l- listening live, be, be on the lookout for two giveaways. I'm not sure if they'll have different codes or not, but uh, the yeah, mods w- will make it clear. And uh, you have two chances to win that legendary bundle, which is a lot of source content uh, from D and D beyond. Uh, so make sure to check, check uh, that out. And once again, if you're not listening live, you're missing out again on getting s- some free stuff. So, <clears throat> so make sure to check us out Sundays, um, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, at twitch.tv slash Rob was a water deep as we go through and uh, work toward uh, now. Now I guess we're in the back end of uh, the season. Um, our dice trays and vaults are provided by Warmwood, uh, W-Y-R-M Wood. Uh, make sure to check them out at warmwoodgaming.com and use the code Rivals for free domestic shipping on your products there. Um, our dice are provided by Die Hard Dice. Um, check them out at dieharddice.com. Um, and use the code RIVALS for 10% off um, of that. Uh, so, sorry, people are laughing, and I'm getting totally uh, no, no, thrown no. off. Uh, I just want to take a minute. Chat. I just want to take that? a minute to uh, shout out their brand new uh, rolling, their scroll of rolling, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then yeah. the uh, Arcane Hexbreaker, which Ooh. if you need a big heckin D20 in your life, I'm so upset that I did not buy a two for advantage. This is the most gorgeous D20 I've ever seen in my life. Nice. Nice. Cool. Yeah. So uh, Die Hard Dice has a bunch of cool products just like that. So Great. Sure check them out. Yeah. Um, as Eugenio was showing off as well. Amasuda was, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah look at that. <laughs> you had to check to make sure they were there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was pretty funny. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, if you'd like to adorn your household with other cool things, shirts, masks, mugs, hats, all kind of dope stuff, as Masood is showing off as well, make sure to go to Stormcrow um, at uh, shop.stormcrow.com and use that code RIVALS for 15% off of your purchase there. I promise you don't have to drink as slow and dramatically as Masood just did. You can drink like yeah, But person. you can. You, it yeah. just, you can savor a moment. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones, crew.bluemic.com slash Rivals. Um, all purchases that you make there, we will get credit for at that link. Um, and, you know, we, we, we got good sound and good video quality and uh, make sure that they can help you out with that as well. Yeah. Um, Idol Champions, we have a new rival that is that has been announced, uh, not in the game yet, but will be in I believe, April 6th. April 6th, uh, three days. Gazrick. Yes. Gazrik Namrad uh, will be helping you to find more gold. Yes, uh, and support, and mm-hmm. allegedly we'll be selling bobbleheads. Uh, I mean, I will, of, we'll see what the market price is, but uh, no, <laughs> they're incredible. I like. I don't know if you've seen uh, the character art. If folks haven't gotten a chance yet, but uh, oh, they knocked it out of the park. Um, and if you get it on, uh, it's going to be a part of the Greengrass event that'll be launching on April 6th as well. And you can get him along with his arch druid robes that we saw him in last season, which is they're really cool. So good. They're, they're, they're incredible. So there's, good. A, there's a stack, there's a static portion of snow on his head that just stay. It's, it's very nice. Do you know what's uh, missing from the arch druid outfit though? Is the no, thorn bracelet. That was gonna. I don't think, I don't, I don't <laughs> when know. Did we that even is. give him an arch druid outfit. <laughs> well, we did. Are you kidding? Like we would have. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like Hirothok would have been like, no. <laughs> there were they were druidic robes that were gifted to Gazrik. Uh, we know I this. See. Whether or not he calls him his arch druid robes, <laughs> we'll yeah. have to find the backstory for that in another stream. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, so uh, Gazrik will be joining Dahani, Salis, Shaka, um, and I, I would like to also include Disco, the uh, familiar yeah. creator by Brian, also of his rival, uh, official. Uh, yeah, and uh, so uh, make sure to check out Idol Champions again, it's on everything. Um, Sharif, and... don't forget Colonel Pest. And... Oh, yes, yeah. and Colonel Pest, that is correct. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, from, a uh, from a familiar quest. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I mean, there's a whole bunch of rivals, adjacent folks, uh, and a family like a Desmond, uh, you know, from DJ and stuff like that. All kind of cool people there. Whoa, you know, just changed his background. Wow. It freaked me out uh, completely. Uh, <laughs> he changed it to the pancake. 
<laughs> from the, the pancake version of Colonel Pest. Uh, That's so disturbing. Very good. The hat, which is now, the best. <laughs> with the top you, hat. <laughs> where is the screenshot of Pest in the, in the top hat, though? That, that was great. That it's was fantastic. On, it was retweeted a bunch. It's on either Eugenio's, yours, or the Isle of yeah. Champions Twitter. Yeah, so if you type uh, estimation point code in the chat, you'll get an electrum chest to be able to upgrade all your gear and all that stuff and hopefully get some gear for uh, Gosric and uh, and some of the rivals there as well. Um, also, make sure to check out Warriors of Waterdeep. Um, if you type wild gems in the chat, uh, sorry, exclamation point wild gems in the chat, you'll get some uh, free gems there to upgrade your, uh, your uh, levels in Warriors of Waterdeep there as well. So I see it. Excellent. I literally just like zoned out for a second. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's okay. Uh, it's time, everybody. It's time for us to do the thing, to get the whoosh, to ready your apparatuses. Remember, always whoosh responsibly. Uh, if you can't make your own whoosh, store-bought whoosh is fine. Ooh. Don't know how that's going to work, but. I don't know what that means. But arrivals of I don't con to buy whooshes near you. <laughs> gotta get like a whoosh right, responsibly everybody. sign <laughs> right yes uh previously on rivals of Waterdeep, whoosh. whoosh yes so brian what happened so <laughs> you probably could tell better there was a us. lovely there was a lovely lovely uh you know town hall y'all all actually had things that you were doing um, before this, so in the seven to 10 business days before the actual town hall, um, you were all going places and doing things. And um, let me see here. Gosrick was working on figuring out what more to do with the dragon scale. Uh, Solis took a surprise visit to the Castle Lanterns. Uh, Kent was studying the history of fudge. Something. Not God, actually fudge. I well, I now mean, the I history of fudge, I'm good. Fudge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we but go. It, it um, was the history of dragons and water. It's a special water dobby and fudge, is what it is. Um, <laughs> let's see. There was more check-ins. There were more check-ins with the um, with the with the old bitty squad of Waterdeep, which I love. Um, like no, like that's serious. Hashtag squad on that. Mm. And did I miss anything before the town hall started? Wait, no. What okay, was Shaka so. doing? I don't think so. Yeah, so. chocolate. Well, Dahani painted signs that like yard sale signs that were right. going. Yeah, Dahani's Dahani's art rolls aren't doing very well this season. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. They're recovering. They're recovering. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, and then it was a town hall, which I enjoyed. Latia playing the entirety of the North Ward. Like it was just like you see the credits rolling and it's just a bunch of names <laughs> yeah, next to yeah, one Latia, on the right that's Latia, just Latia Jaquiz. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Anyone can jump in at any time. I can keep going, but I'm drinking. I'm also. loving it. But this y'all have, y'all have driven me to it because I haven't gotten to the part yet. But you know. uh-huh. <laughs> so we we started the town hall. Uh, yeah. Shaka and Gazrik were out, uh, sort of taking questions and getting a, a feel of the tenor of the room. Uh, Virgil and Kent and Celise ish were up on stage. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sort of uh, leading events from up there. We we opened it up and took questions and got suggestions about, you know, what the residents of the ward want and need. And their biggest thing is like, every time y'all chuckleheads do something weird, people flee the ward. So yeah. either we flee with them or we stay and nobody comes to patronize our business. So a very uh, strong, very strong arguments from the youth component of the ward. I really appreciated. <laughs> I really appreciated that they were like, uh, so what about us? Yes, I did too. I was like, you know what? You are the future. You're right. <laughs> oh, and also some of those kids wanted to ride on Dahani. Yep. And oh, we we're not fly. insured for that. That's right. We were like, yeah. yes. At a yeah, we got to drop the liability inches. contract first. Yes. <laughs> right. Um, right. Yep. No, but everybody seemed to have like, they 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 had really good things. You know, they like, they yeah, like the, mm-hmm. the manner of disappearing is kind of a thing, but also the shenanigans they are weird, but they sometimes aren't actually a bad overall result for the ward. Like people show up to be like, oh yeah, it was right there, wasn't it? Well, while we're here, we may as well buy something. Like, um, and uh, I like the way I liked the setup. I liked that, you know, Gosrick was kind of like Gosrick and Chaka were kind of like in the crowd feeling out, and then like things were back and forth, um, addressing the folks at the front. Um, 
I, I was really missing the long and lengthy speech that Virgil would have given, but honestly, doing this voice for a while would probably have taken anyone out. So I get it. It's fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 Uh, yeah, we said that we would try and work with powerful magic users to dimensionally anchor the manor so it doesn't disappear anymore. Right. We said we wanted to try and have a, a, a ward party, block party type thing, because one of the, th- that was for the kids, but also because old lady number three said that they just don't see much of us. And so, you know, we need to be out and about a bit more. Local persons. Um, what else do I have in here? Yeah, I have kid-friendly programming is my other note. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah. Does anyone want to take the and then? Um, well, I think we fielded questions. Oh my god, we <laughs> talked about some. Uh, I think I think You're there was a moment. Get of, it. Oh god, some very, like no, I mean it was a very it was a very even killed. Yeah. Right, it was very even right. killed. Also, you know, you're talking like about the incubator a, and the craftsman. It just um, ended with everybody eating cookies. I do want to talk about those cookies. The food yes. is good. Absolutely, want to talk about the cookies. Uh, there were cookies. There was oatmeal raisin. I just I don't. Remember, I mean, I was a bit oh, of a oh, no, on one point five I, I, I blacked out for a moment, and I just there remembered. Was, yeah, Solis walked in at the. I end. literally was listening to this and watching it, and there was like when Latia. What's funny is because of the way all of us are, Latia tried to make a big moment of. And then the door opens and immediately was like cut off because there was more good improv and had to circle back around to it. I paused the moment the door opened. I was like, uh huh. Uh huh. Here it is. Here it is. Here it comes. <laughs> I still don't know how you saw this coming. How you were claiming we, you saw this? It's coming. that outside eye. I'm telling you, there was no way we were there ever going to see it from where we there, were. <laughs> there were there were some interesting things, but honestly, honestly, the um, the behavior was off, and unfortunately, what did it in was the vibe check after leaving the cast lantern. Um, if not if not for that vibe check. I would not have had any really any idea. interesting. Ah, really? Uh, because there, because honestly, there were things. Even the first time we visited the Castle Lanterns, where I was like, I, Brian, was like, mm. "Damn, girl!" Like, <laughs> and so, you failed to say to this at all. It. Well, um, I wouldn't say it all. I mean, have you? Have you, you want to check our DMs? <laughs> yeah, I meant no, Brian and Tanya, not Salise. <laughs> Oh, I know. I was talking about Brian and El Canio. <laughs> yeah, our DM, our DM, our CoDM back channel has actually never stopped. It's just oh, really hasn't. Oh, oh. Excellent. oh okay, good I see. I, I see that. how it is. Allegiances. We're drawing them. All right. All right. We're married. <laughs> Salise will remember that. Just which, which one? one? Which one? Yeah. Which one? My brain. I mean, honestly, it's good because if Salise ever thought she had a bad memory, now she has a backup. Wow. Up to a certain point. That backup right. stopped at a certain we point. We have to get into it because I, I want to find know out what's, what's happening. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, yes, uh, everybody has said all of the important things. We had a town hall. There were cookies. The kids want a block party. The old ladies are like, we just wish you would go outside. And uh, then uh, so, and then Celise walks in, and yeah. which is weird because Celise is already there. At yep. which point we cut back to a moment oh, no. in the forest several months ago, maybe a year ago. Who knows at this point? Elise, you are reflecting on the journey that your life has taken, especially in the wake of your quote unquote revenge against Ziraj uh, and the revelations that have come to you thereafter. Um, when you make a, I, I, this This has all already happened, but please just make a perception check for me. Okay. I'm, I have a concern. Uh, perception. Let's see if my dice betray me today. Uh, that is a 19, thankfully. Uh, okay, cool. So yeah, you're walking and, um, you know, the normal sounds of the forest are are with you. You feel very good. This is uh, maybe a couple of days after your meeting with Tyr in the forest when he appeared to you as a small child. Um, 
and you're feeling very good about the direction that you're that you are headed when you find yourself surrounded you found yourself surrounded i should say cuz like i said this is already happening um and uh you find yourself surrounded not by like by the rivals which was confusing um and they walk with you for a bit and you felt that something wasn't right there and you were very shortly accosted by your by your companions um to which you were you know knocked unconscious which was that hardly ever happens to you then you've been somewhere unknown for a while and you've been uh you know calculating figuring out how you were going to escape what turned out to be a den of doppelgangers but not that many just enough to keep you just enough to subdue you and haven't really got quite an idea of what's going on there were maybe 10 of them at most and it was at a point probably a month ago a month a month and a half ago where you felt this surge of energy flowing through you having no idea quite what was happening there um but you felt stronger. You felt like, I'm not, like I say more capable, not that Celise is not capable. She is like one of the most capable people I know, but you felt an energy within you that turned the tide in this long period of captivity for you, um, which is the equivalent of receiving the blessings from the dragon fight, because like, heck, I'm going to make doppelganger Celise have it and not <laughs> real Celise have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, you were able to escape your captors, uh, free yourself, and you have been on your way back to Waterdeep ever since. Uh, and if you just kind of want to give me a, just a, a ballpark figure of what's going through your mind as you uh, open the door to see Troll Skull Manor full of people your friends, the rivals, they're taking questions and yourself standing next to Kent and Virgil as everybody in this building as one turns to look at you and somebody in the back goes, see, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> Weird stuff always happens. I do think I, Kent says a very similar thing under his breath, but less politely, sort of like, I swear to all the gods, this is exactly what they were talking about. A lie, like when I was watching, I was like, I was basically waiting for that one line from someone in the crowd yeah. the minute this happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Celise is incredibly angry. Which one? Which The okay, one yeah, that just need... walked in. Okay, Sorry. okay, okay, thank you, please. So thank the, you. I, right now I am the Celise that just walked in the door. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> And she just like, like I'm, I'm imagining like just the parting of the of the way for her to run up there if she wanted to, of like we we're not getting in the way of this. Whatever's happening is happening, and I just I just miss you step up to the other Celise and Jack Jar. I want to cast hold person before that happens if I can. On me? On, no, on no, both no. Celises. I don't trust either. If you're attacking, can you do my that friend, though? That's okay, the, okay, I so, don't know, so right? Here's I'm just here's, very here's concerned. What's gonna right? happen. I'm so nervous. Here's what's <sighs> gonna happen. So Celise, roll an attack with advantage because everybody is it's literally the quiet the, the crowd has gone completely quiet. Yeah. Okay. Um I so am I doing one or two attacks or just one attack? Just just one. Just this uh, just an unarmed strike. Okay. Who I'm glad you gave me advantage because that would have been crappy against myself, but I still didn't make it 22. <laughs> My armor <laughs> class is 22. I didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, it's no. I take that. Uh, hold on. 
Uh, nope. Ju I got a 21. Wow. Mm. Okay. So I will, you know what, here, I will say it connects, but you don't, this, this other Celise does not have the response that you want her to have about this. She just like, she takes it on the chin and she's just like, like, it's that moment in, in the anime where they take it and then they just like, they stay there for a minute and then they turn back and they look at you. <laughs> oh no. And oh, then no. I oh, need, no. and then I, what's the save, what's the save for a uh, for whole person? I'm casting it on a third level so I can do one additional target and it's 19 okay. on a 19. wisdom save. All right, so Celise, you make one, you make one and I will make one. Hmm. We, do, do we stop them? Trying. Um, no, I'm talking, sad. I'm just talking to Virgil. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Shaka doesn't know um, who's who. So you're right, right. That's, that's the problem. Exact, exactly. Um, I'm exactly. with you guys right here. Yeah. So even with a plus 10 on my wisdom save, I failed it by that much. You. Okay. My own and, dice are turning against me. And the, so you, here's, here's what you see. You see the door, the door opens. Celise appears, haggard looking, angry. She takes in the scene. Everybody takes in the scene. Then Celise is gone, gone in a flash that however many feet it took to Misty step <laughs> towards doppelganger Celise, yeah. she clocks her in the jaw. And then you see Celise freeze and the Celise standing with you all continue to turn her head towards the, the Celise that just walked in the door. So real Celise failed, real Celise failed, bad Celise succeeded. <sighs> but, but, so it's at this point that a couple of people in the crowd stand oh, up no. and are beginning to look a little, what's going on here? But bad Celise does not do anything. She, she, she looks... <laughs> She looks at you, Celise, and and who is this? You know exactly who I am. You're held. I, I can't yeah, does, Wait, you, you can't talk you, when you you're can, held? You can, you, can, right? you can speak faulting. Uh, oh, okay, faulting. okay, I like it. I like it. Oh, I thought you could talk. I know you couldn't move. I just thought you could still talk. <laughs> you know, um, you, for, for the purposes of this, you can still talk. So yeah. into this. I think it's just, it's like truly just like, you can't fight. That's all Gazric's hold is, yeah. yeah. I, otherwise, it would, otherwise it would kill you, so. Right. <laughs> I, I would like to get up in front of the crowd. <laughs> Thank <laughs> and you. say, don't worry, we have it all under control. Don't worry, everybody. This just one of those things that happens, but we have it under control. Please don't leave. Don't um, leave. That is the opposite leave. of the instruction I would have given. So please excellent, great. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, persuasion check, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. my god. god. Yeah, yeah. Probably, probably disadvantage or something. This is, a, <laughs> this is a, a bad, a bad. It, uh, it it hasn't it hasn't gotten bad yet. So you still right. it's still a regular roll. Yeah. All right. Twenty one. Okay. Oh okay. Very good. We doubt. So for so what? um. So excited. The 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 people who have stood up and are looking a little nervous about this whole thing uh they you know they're still standing but they're not making any sudden moves and shaka the um the bitty squad of water deep they actually do they 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 <laughs> they do stand up and some of them are so short that it doesn't really make a difference with these people <laughs> sitting but they say now hold hold on hold on hold. now this is what we came here as a ward to talk about and we all know that weird things happen when these fine, lovely people are concerned. <laughs> now, I think, and <laughs> this old lady, I love old ladies. This old lady, she walks up to all of you with uh, held Celise and, and bad Celise now standing. Now, is this a matter that's going to end up coming to blows? Because I... You all have done such a good job here. And I think that would not be a good look for the things that you're trying to do. Um, I, 
this 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 old lady is, has walked up to all of you and she's she's got like her arm on she she's she's very gently like got her arm on one of the Salise's arms and she's just like this is not a thing that you want to do right now. Uh Kent has if possible sort of stepped forward next to well as far as he knows the Salise that is not currently held. Um and I would love to uh, step forward with a big bright smile and a concealed dagger um, and just not harm Thank anyone, you. but just stand behind or next to sort of the uh, non-frozen Celise mm-hmm. uh, and very quickly whisper, if it's really you, you'll forgive me and just press the dagger ever so slightly uh, into the back and then mm. in a loud voice say, no, of course it won't. This is exactly us turning over a new leaf. Now, and I look to Shaka who invited everyone to stay. Now Shaka is going to um, instruct you all in what's next while yeah. the four of us up here um, just settle some things. Hey everybody, I have a whole bunch of North Ward themed jokes and uh, <laughs> uh, I've been practicing a little set uh, and uh, I think this is a good time, you know, like, well, you know, we've been doing some serious talk. I think it's good to show that we're also here to, you know, bring some, uh, lightheartedness to the ward as well. So, okay. uh, shock is going to uh, go into a, a, a routine, uh, while y'all are, uh, handling this. I want to, I want right. to give you an enhance ability, please. Because <laughs> um, no, we're not doing open mic night at Troll School. No, 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 no. You have to give me I will say, I, I will say, open mic night is all me. <laughs> if you cast enhance ability, your whole person will drop. They are both right. concentration spells. Concentration. I know. And I, I actually, think, and, well, and actually, I will, but I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to yeah. give me, uh, give me intimidation, Eugenio. Oh yes, that oh, feels important, smart. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> You're really trying to out intimidate Celise. I, well, and here's the thing: I'm good at many charismatic, ba- charisma-based skills. This isn't one of them. This so, isn't the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. oh, oh, it's an 18 though, so it's not okay. Good. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you very gently press the tip of that dagger into, uh, you know, you know what, you, like, you're very familiar with Celise's armor, so you are able mm-hmm. to find one of those spots where the uh the flesh is exposed uh and yeah you press that dagger in just, and just, just and then uh just like, give me a sec here don't move mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh let's see oh this is not gonna go well for anyone right for anyone um no no this like like now the 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 game appearing to be coming to a close this uh-huh. this imposter is is cooperating so um also also the only reason they didn't both get a dagger is because one of them is currently paralyzed yeah like i don't know who's who i just need us to talk (laughs) thank you no truly gosser was gonna keep trying to recast it yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah um okay so uh oh as speaking of uh salise i think you can remake that wisdom save to try and not be (laughs) yeah (laughs) What is the save? 19. 19. Okay. I'm holding, I've got the sickle on me. Oh, that wait. is like, gosh, dang it. On wisdom, yeah. Oh my God, please just give me something over a 10. Just made it. Okay. okay. Fantastic. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so as, as this all happens, you see uh, the punching Celise kind of like relax her limbs and mm-hmm. she's moving. She's like, you Uh-oh. know, shaking, shaking off the effects of that paralysis. And uh, you all may make your way into the kitchen. Yeah, that sounds good. Where the sharp knives are. Good. <laughs> yeah, where all the sharp knives are. This the, is an uh, adventuring yeah. house. Is there we all have sharp, yeah. Look, there's sharp, sharp implements objects. literally everywhere. <laughs> right. Blunt, yeah. uh, like we have bludgeoning, sharp. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. Vir, uh, Virgil, like, is where was Celise? Where was the Celise that was uh, sitting at the front? Where was she sitting with respects to Kent and Virgil? Was she like just kind of off to the side or? She was kind of like your, like your right hand, your right hand person. Like she was standing like off to the side and kind of like behind you, like your bodyguard. 
Okay. Yeah. Virgil calmly, outwardly, calmly. Um, essentially what you hear above Troll Skull Manor is like, it's, it's like a large thunderclap that's maybe, maybe like two miles away. Like that's, that's restrained. Um, <laughs> looks, looks at the Solis that has just started moving and just says, we're going to figure this out. But once we do, you can act later. Hmm. Just affixing her, affixing her with a stare. Like even he's confused. Yeah. But the way that this Elise acted versus the way that the one who has been next to him acted, he's fairly sure which one is the one that is is not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> to him. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Or Kent. And- <laughs> I mean, also or Kent. Yes. Wow. And and I just look at both of them as like, and after, okay. And after I brought you out of where you were, okay. Oh, oh, low. We're going to the kitchen. That is oh, low. Nothing violent. is. That is. I mean, that's that's low. Um, but you know. But like it's like you just threatened yeah. her. Yeah. I mean, no, oh, no, it no, was no, no. called for. Well, it oh, just yeah. hurt. <laughs> yeah. It was, Okay, so Celise, make me an insight check because I understand what happened there. Make me an insight check. The lightning. She's like, "You're a storm warrior. That was a very clear, and I can I got something for you if you're not the real Celise." <laughs> no, that was just him being angry. That that was yeah. him trying. That oh, was yeah. that was he, the best he was doing at at holding in, not smart, fucking everything. He sparks up. when he's like, don't worry, <laughs> right? Oh. <laughs> so yeah, like make, a transformer. Make me, make me an insight check, Celise. Oh boy. Why? Why my worst stat? Yeah. Yep, it's my worst stat. Good job, me. You know what? I'm rolling on here because my real dice have failed me. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank God. Nineteen. Nineteen. Solid. Okay. So you understand? Like he is looking at you, making this comment. You understand that he thinks you are the real one. He. He, like, based on the what he has seen from the last couple of weeks, he's he's starting to put some pieces together. And, like, the the connection that you two have, he is reestablishing it in that moment. So it's not a threat to you. Sorry, grass cutting. It's apparently grass cutting season in my neighborhood. Yeah. Hey, spring. Wild, because it <laughs> hey, snowed spring. in our neighborhood just yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now I hear so, grass cutting, yeah. so. So good. So you all adjour- adjourn to the kitchen while uh, uh, Sharif can I make s- me. A- yeah, what's up? Why, when I see that this lease that I held has broken free and is now walking peacefully off, I then want to cast Enhance Ability on Sharif. Perfect. For, for, yeah. Sure. Um, Sorry, Shaka. Thank you. He why, said do what we, he said. why do we keep doing that? Why do we keep doing that? Like, <laughs> I'm in the town hall. I'm yeah, going to be worthy. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm one of the, one of the North there. Four guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Heckle the oh. crap out of him, dude. <laughs> yes. Okay, now we need like self, now we need self insert NPCs of ourselves in Waterdeep as various like towns folks. <laughs> no. uh, what, are, what ability are you in? I assume charisma. Absolutely. Eagle Splendor. Fantastic. So yeah. yeah, make me a general charisma check with advantage, Shaka. Okay. I think we've been these characters so long. We call each other our characters outside of the game. And the culture. Oh my goodness. 29. 29. <laughs> um, wow. These jokes are, as you all enter the kitchen, you, you hear the tail end of one of these jokes and they are better than you thought they would be. And the town hall is laughing. Some of them are laughing. Am I allowed to share some jokes? Please. Yes. I didn't think you really had any. Oh, you, you, are you serious? Uh, <laughs> I, I hoped that you had some. Yeah, me too. I could wait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So, so, so uh, he uh, pulls out um, sort of a, uh, like a long, um, like a, a, a cylinder and he puts it up to, up to his like lips no, no. and I goes like man I sure wish I was on the high road right now 
And, then, <laughs> and then there's all this great stuff there. Oh. Uh, pretty good. They get it. And, they get uh, it instantly. <laughs> Oh yeah! Wow! Oh, wow. No. You that hear is a masterful. You hear that is masterful. Boo. Here's Silly's boo. Both she of them. The Both, Both of them. them. Yeah. I mean, God. I'm impressed. Oh, oh that's amazing! Thank you. I love it. That's amazing. I, I love it. I, love it. I, love it. <laughs> I can't. I mean, so, the dice rolled. We know how they react. We can't argue with it. It's, it's right. incredible. It's incredible. It's a 29. Oh. 29 it's worthy it. joke. He hit it perfectly. The timing was just masterful. Yeah. 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 I know. It, 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 it was It was like I waited just enough so the yeah. audience was on bated breath. Mm-hmm. So, you know. The tension. What yeah. It's incredible. For why? Yeah. This is Amazing. like Second City, right? Right, Mr. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You just got like it, it. That was done. <laughs> I think you got a tight, a guy, a tight 20, actually. No. Oh, my God. Oh my that's goodness. so much time. <laughs> Take inspiration. I cannot believe it. Correct. Sweet. Correct. So, yeah, you, the, the rest of you adjourned to the kitchen as you cannot believe that that joke went over so well. Um, but there you all stand. Uh, Kent, Virgil, Gazerick. And two Salises. And Fenris. And Fenris. Holy wait. Okay, so I is there one this, is, this is where I Fenris? have this is where I have some questions, but yes, please. There's yeah. just one Fenris? Just one Fenris. Yes. Oh, is a Fenris okay. confused? Who is Fenris? Well, that, yeah, that's that's like, yeah, we're getting yeah, we're definitely getting to that point. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah. I didn't think um, about that. Okay. Oh. Uh so the wait, the four plus Fenris. I, I don't oh, suppose God. one of you doesn't want to just fess up. And I look at you like fess up. I, I well, I mean, she's got the withering glare down, whether or not it's her. <laughs> I'm Celise. Yes, but so is she. Yeah, so That's am a- I. Oh, that's how I love hate this. This is gonna be great. Okay, yeah, that's I love a, this. She's fake. Oh my! I'm gonna get real catty. Oh, no, no, like, <laughs> she's a hater. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is wow. Gazer's first nightmare. Really, I Kent okay. has sort of like thought he was like gonna get one of you to just say it, and now that he hasn't, he's like, "All right, well, you two do magic." <laughs> <laughs> Virgil puts a hand on, uh, puts a hand on the bedraggled Solice, who just escaped the hold. Where have you been? What happened? After I spoke to Tear, I was out in the forest, and I got captured. I went for a walk to think about all the things we talked about. And there were six, eight of them. And I'm pretty sure I was in that creepy place we found near Candlekeep where the doppelgangers were getting made. That was for Latia, because <laughs> yeah, no, that's yeah, no, that's real good. That's real, real good. Um And I don't know what you all were doing, what happened, but at some point I felt almost like, I've never had an affinity for dragons, but I felt like something draconic reach out and give me a burst of power. I don't know what you've been up to. Also, where, where'd the direwolf pup? Wait, that's Fenris. You stole my dog. Um, so yeah, so to to summarize that, it it was the your Celise, you have a even even bedraggled Celise has an aura of intimidation. And one day you were able to um uh da 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 sorry I'm answering a question. That's okay. Um, also, Brian, I asked you a question. Um, but yeah, you, you, 
as you're thinking about it now, now that you're out, now that you're out of the situation and you have faced dragons before, you're pretty sure that what you did was frightful presence. And oh, it oh, cool. intimidated them enough that you were able to get the jump on them and make your escape. Yeah. Um, Look. No, go, 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 go. No, so I'm just, I find like a kitchen stool and just kind of sit there and it's like, look, quiz me, whatever you got to do, but it's me. Um, Why would I come back to Troll Skull? If it wasn't me, why wouldn't I just go somewhere else? Well, Solis. While bedraggled Solis is doing this, what is the reaction of knife in the back, Solis? Uh, sorry, everybody's asking me so many questions. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, set yeah, up yeah. a good mystery, and now you we're really did. Uh, you uh, really uh, like well for done. real, for real. Honestly, congratulations. I'm still mad at you, but well done. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good. I'm invested. Uh, this this Solis is. You, you you expect them to be ta- you, ex- you expect her to be talking like attempting to convince the I can't with y'all <laughs> you ex- you expect this this doppelganger you assume this doppelganger Celise to be uh, talking her way out of this but she's just watching all of you like she's just watching this whole thing happen with like. You're not quite sure what the expression on her face is, but I mean, it very much looks like a Solis who would be getting ready to like use gathering information and waiting to make her move. Mm-hmm. Like, like now that now that it, Virgil especially, like you you are very certain that this bedraggled Solis is the real Solis, but now that you see the two of them in the same in the same area, this fake one got like really good. Yeah, because I'm remembering the one that we encountered in Candlekeep, and that one got the outfit wrong. This one cheated by skipping over the outfit and just making the change on the way. Mm, like, you funny. know, funny. I, you're gonna ask, look. You ask me to break this down because because Virgil's uh, just mad. So you know, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, and um, uh, I'll go, ahead. go ahead. Well, Kent, go Kent ahead. is gonna. Um, Kent is like taking all this in, has left it for the moment to the magic users, and. Kent is just gonna whisper to Virgil, I need to check something. I'll I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. And we'll go, I, I don't know, not back into the town hall and not right here in the kitchen, but somewhere nearby, but relatively private. Yeah. So there is an there is an exit out to the uh to the street via oh, perfect. the kitchen. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So we'll just just right outside the door. Mm-hmm. And uh I'm gonna take off of my a little charm bracelet that I have. I'm going to sort of rip off uh, a little robe charm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because if we remember, I collected a soul trinket from one of the red wizards that attacked us on the way to Candlekeep. So I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to hold it in my hand and crush it. Uh, Oh, before I do that, I'm going to use my glamour to put me in a fabulous dress. Uh, so that I don't look like a rogue in armor. Uh, then I'm going to crush it and summon the spirit of, I mean, it'll probably appear in Red Wizard form, but if you want it to, it can, but summon the spirit of this deceased thing and I can mm-hmm. ask it a single question. It's under no obligation, of course, to be truthful uh, and it answers as concisely as possible, eager to be free. Is the, uh, free. Okay. Is, is what because it's been this shard of soul has mm-hmm. been not the whole soul but the shard of the soul has been trapped in my trinket for okay. quite a while now <laughs> yes quite a while so there is um there is this moment you you crush the the charm and the essence of the soul kind of like you know uh seeps out of the like cracks between your fingers and like forms in front of you and what you see is like this ghostly apparition of a being in red robes but now what you see is the form like the the humanoid form of this thing is amorphous it is still wearing those clothes but it is ever shifting like you have interesting like it is it is a humanoid thing but it is it has arms legs a face type thing but it is like it is it is you know 
featureless. We'll say that it's featureless. I like it. I like it. Now I have to pick a new question though. Oh, I know what the question should be. Okay. Uh, so as it appears, uh, there's like a little surprise that worked better than I really thought it would. Okay. Um, and uh, I will ask the spirit once it is formed, what business do you have with the rivals of Waterdeep? Hmm. So this formless apparition before you It says, ooh, okay. <laughs> you have to, I have to think, I have to th think about this answer. While I, yeah, yeah, while yeah. I think about, while I think about this answer, like the, 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 the suspense, we're going to cut back to inside the kitchen. So what's going on inside the kitchen? Um, okay. After hearing Salisa's story, um, which I will out of character, I'll need to catch up again because my audio crapped out, whatever. Um, right. Virgil looks at Veneris and what, how has Veneris reacted following us into the kitchen, mostly as far as we know with this, with this, um, with the Solis that we've been hanging out with, how is Veneris reacting? Veneris is confused. Um, let me pull because I have watched so many 80s sitcoms, I will absolutely do whoever likes the, whoever the dog likes best gets right? to this Yeah, no, oh absolutely. Oh Gosrick's in a similar situation. <laughs> flawless, I, like, flawless scientific process. <laughs> I don't- I Between you like, other oh, Salise is probably it, gonna get it. It, it can't, it, it can't fail. Um, <laughs> you, this, this, this dire wolf pup looks, is, is extraordinarily confused and being a dire wolf and, smarter than most smarter than 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 other animals stats be damned mm -hmm. um it's just looking at the two of them and you see its nostrils flaring and like almost as if this dog is trying to get the measure of what uh, this wolf is trying to get the measure of what's going on here. Yeah, because it's also like now it's been around this Elise. So what's the actual scent? So yeah, that it knows exactly. I'm trying right. to get the time. I'm trying to get the time down because I feel like the I feel like who Virgil believes is the real Solis was actually never with us when we encountered Fenris. And that's why that's I right. personally, Brian, and right. am confused about the timeline. But yes, something that confuses, is yeah. That, so, uh, that 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 is correct. I will I, I will I will get this out for you right now. So at the beginning of Brian and Eugenio's season, we had a year off where we did right. whatever. Right. Right. So, so fat, yeah. So yeah. So is it is when... during it is during that year that Celise was taken. So, so that's before this which dog was... does not know the real Fenris. That's right. Okay. I mean, or... the real Celise. And, no, no, but, and, but okay. And so, the, who said? So I was going to say. Go Solis, ahead, Masood. Yeah, yeah, but Celise said, uh, but Dragon Celise recognizes Fenris. And Fenris ran up to Solis at the witch light. Did that Fenris get somehow get released? Like, is the like, is that one already confused? Oh, man, like, we're getting like deep. these, we're getting, we're getting deep. deep. We're getting real the deep. original owner and yeah, right. like, oh, okay, because that's okay. okay yeah, the okay. So that I have just taken and absorbed into my DM brain. Mm -hmm. That is working right now. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I got this, y'all. Okay. Because <laughs> because the that that was a that was, that was a that was a point that I missed that mm. the dog ran up to Solis at the Witchlight Carnival. I missed that part. Yeah. So that part has now been in like I have taken that its information is going up here, and now we can proceed with what Fenris is going to do. Okay. Um, Fenris, okay, seeing the Fenris skin, Virgil, Virgil just kind of pats, pats the side of, of, um, of his leg and says, Fenris, time to read. Which <laughs> Fenris sits in their bed and reads like every morning. So essentially it's, it's a, it's a call to like, come over here and curl up because the dog is, sorry, the wolf is clearly having a day as are, as are we all. <laughs> are we all. <laughs> um, but yeah, Fenris does come over to you and like, you know, in in absence of a bed to lay down on, he will sit next to you. Still, still kind of looking at these two Salises. Okay. And 
I guess, yeah, kind of catching Gosrick's eye, he looks at the he looks at the other Solis, um, who I'm assuming, even with Kent's absence, has made no mo, mo motions to do anything. No, it it you you feel that this Solis is waiting to see what you all are going to do. Um okay, yeah, he's simply he he looks at this at this. I'm gonna go with other Solis. So if I say Solis, it's the one that Virgil knows is the real one and other Solis is the other one. He looks at other Solis and says, so what's your story in all this? Also me. No, no, no. Th- we're talking to, to, to other Solis. Other. Okay. Yeah, I was like, should I say yeah, something? Now we've, pro- now we've processed you. I mean, if you want to enter, if you want to interject how, like, I, I would love to hear those because yes, let's go. But yeah, no, he has gotten, Virgil has gotten who he believes to be Salisa's story and is now absorbing that and hoping that the DM will help him with timestamps. So now he's asking other Salise yeah, to explain themselves. Can I mm-hmm. read this interaction? Because Ga- Gosrick is still confused. So I, if there's a subtlety that I see <laughs> of like, like Virgil shifting in this way of like now, I would love to like use that to also like write Gosrick because he's trying to be a fly on the yeah. wall and understand. Yeah. Oh, girls, guy, Gosrick, if, if anyone's done an insight check on on Virgil at this point, like Virgil has made his decision. <laughs> Dude, I, I usually roll so well in insight. It's a three on the dry. So it's oh, a no. 14 total. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's not great, but it's yeah. <gasps> I, I have created, a, I have created, a, I am literally that gif of the person on a train who is placing tracks in front of them at the moment. So uh, <laughs> we're all figuring this out together because we're, we're family and that's, that's what we do. Brilliant. Uh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. Yeah. Good game. Uh, this Elise says to you, um, well, I was in the woods talking to Tyr and I came back to Troll Skull with you all, and we've been we've been together ever since. We we went to the Caldera, and and Celise, you like this is all brand new information to you because you have been out for months. I've been in a pod or whatever, wherever they keep yeah. you, where wh- whatever oh, they I'm- do. I gotta go watch that now when we're done. That's such a good classic. <laughs> we 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 went to the Caldera. We went to Gosric's homeland. We Gosric, I I defended you against the people who were who were being rude to you. So that didn't tip you off. Ah! Wow, wow. <laughs> that, that honestly might sell it. That might have been the moment that it. So I was like, yeah. When is Elise ever backed Gosser up in a verbal fight? Right? Like, <laughs> and it's like plenty of times in a fight, not yeah. so often when people are making giving you a hard time. <laughs> no, 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 never. No, no, no. That because that's also out of character for them. Like they they like if it's not their business, they're not gonna like get messy in it unless it requires being really messy. Uh and yeah, she 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 continues like we we fought the we fought the dragon. We I missed a dragon fight. Virgil, <laughs> le- Ger- Virgil just kind of leans aside. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Like so did we. So like um. Where were you? Know, you? I got you. I get like. Where, are you doppelgangers too? What's happening? That's a fair reaction. Not gonna lie. Okay. Uh, sorry. So I'm sorry to interrupt the other Celise. <laughs> no, that's that's this. This is fine. I am living for these yes. reactions. Virgil and has one more question, but I'm every, waiting if everybody everybody's else wants got to react. inspiration right now. Everybody's got an inspiration for this masterful. <laughs> That's like I never use my other one. I have three. I have so many inspirations. <laughs> this, okay. needs a count, this needs a counter for inspiration now, which I right please. Um, and with Fenris next to him, standing a little bit away from them, knowing that the only way out of this kitchen is basically back into the crowd. Um, he just looks at both the, both the Solis that appear before him and says, when did we meet? When I was on my way back to Tarami to go talk to Tyr and deal with what I'd done. 
I was there for a while, and then on my way back to meet the rivals, I met you. And I brought you with me, don't you remember? I'm. And after Celise says that, Virgil just kind of looks expectantly to the other Celise. I heard that. <laughs> yeah, I heard that like, Very everybody solid. Remembers, everybody remembers that good feeling of you don't know what's going on behind the DM screen, but you hear the dice at the table and you're like, oh, okay. And then you see the face. D20. Yeah. Um, so so uh, this, this doppelganger looks at, I mean, I don't, I don't know where she found out that information, but that is where we met. And literally any of you can roll an inside check. I, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't I'm rolling I an inside to. check for a very specific, for a very specific Another thing. 14. Solid. Um, Solid Gazer rolls. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I, God, no. Take advantage, God. Virgil. Oh, actually, I'm going to burn my inspiration to re-roll that. I'm going to, because we never okay. use them. Yeah. Virgil's roll a 23, but his, his insight has nothing 31. to do with the truth of her words. Mm -hmm. It is okay. only checking for the, basically how angry she was when she responded. I got a net 20 on my insight roll. You then. did get a natural 20. Yeah. Nice. So, so Virgil, uh, Celise is obviously offended. How could you not remember when we met? Uh, other Celise, you, and, and Gosrick, you see this too. You see there's a look on her face where she's, tr like, like it looks like she's trying to mask it well, but she's trying to remember this. But from what you know of doppelgangers and how their memories form and all that stuff, like this one, may not have memories that like does not have the memories that far back mm. so she's basically agreeing with real Celise because that is the truth <laughs> yeah the real the, the real trap of that is whoever answers first and knowing Celise based on everything basically the real Celise would have been like eh. and if the fake Celise had said yes then the real Celise would have been like at her throat so you know right it's, uh, you know, it's a good you know, one, uh, one plus two plus two plus one. Okay. Um, <laughs> the I moment just watched Gos that last night. <laughs> yeah. The moment Gosrick figures it out, I, he's known what he's going to do. He just didn't know who to do it to. Um, I'm going to cast at the highest level I can. Um, a ninth level. I'm going to uh, summon a draconic spirit. Um, and I'm going to place it in between what Gosrick knows is our Solis. It's an ally to you and your companions in combat. I'm going to have this take up space and basically form it right in front of the other one. I, Gosrick I, does I, not like doppelgangers. And this is, and he just says, as he's doing it, I'm sorry. It took us so long. Truly. I should have known better. And um, yeah. We, and, and I'm just like, so I'm, I'm tired, but I'm also like, you stole my dog. And you see this veneer of calm come over her face as very much a very much John Wick when they shot his dog. Mm -hmm. And she just steps forward like, can I pass through this this thing, Gosrick? It, or, it is, or is it... A, a draconic spirit. So it says you call forth a spirit and manifest within range. It's a, it has corporeal form. But okay, I'm going to say I, I, it's, it is an ally to you, so you could walk under its legs. Like, it's not going to no, do it. Hold yeah. on. I, I got this. I got okay. this, y'all. What do you want to do, Celise? Um, so basically, Celise is, she's got that, I'm tired of this. I'm hungry. None of you believed me for far too long. And you stole my dire wolf puppy. So she just walks up very calmly to the other Celise. And because she's a skilled fighter, she pulls the knife and just slits the other Celise's throat. All right. This is like, you stole my dog. You stole my life. No. All right. So here's what happens. Uh, Goswick calls forth this draconic spirit, um, which is, 
I've always thought that this kitchen is small, but it's not because this is a large spirit. Uh, so now the kitchen is big. It's cool. <laughs> Upgrade. Upgrade. It's a, it's, a, it's a hotel kitchen. You know, we know this. Yeah. 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 Um, so this spirit, as it is taking form, you all sort of see like it is. Um, oh, what uh, what family of dragon do you want this to be? Um, a chromatic gem or metallic? It's going to be uh, metallic, um, metallic with. Yeah. What? Uh, what color? You know, it's uh, that blue steel. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. All right. So this. Um, <laughs> This gorgeous, like, blue, silver, chrome color begins to, like, encircle you all as this dress. <laughs> this dress. Uh, it was not the intent, but yes. Yes, I did. Ah, you activated my I'm really card. sorry. You activated I, I'm it. I'm so disruptive that in the backstage chat. But I just sent oh a message God. that said, did Gosrick summon a blue eyes white track? <laughs> yes, 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 he did. Yes, I did. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. Um, so actually, yes, it rises from the ground as if it were coming from the card itself. And just as it begins to uh, solidify into its corporeal form, Celise steps through the spirit. And it's almost like the dragon's essence is just like in, like it, 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 it comes off her face in this like really badass sort of like steamy kind of way. Um, and uh, as we, as she says, you stole my dog. I'm going to cut really quickly to Kent, who's still in the alley. <laughs> um, as you, uh, this, this spirit in front of you uh, says, um, there are many plans in place for the rivals of Waterdeep. Just starts crying. And that's that's <laughs> legit. That, that's, 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 that's that's legit. And we no, that's 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 all it says because yeah. it just wants to be free. There yeah. are many plans in place for the rivals of Waterdeep. Um, and with that extraordinarily vaguely cryptic yeah. uh comment, the spirit like disapparates. It's it's about Dude. that same time that you hear nonsense coming from inside the kitchen. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how so, sorry. So, sorry. No, no please right. tell us another joke. Say, <laughs> no, no. How, how loud is this noise? Is it so, is it, is what's been going on? Is it loud right. enough Shaka's that it would? Doing stand up. Oh, yeah, right. Shaka, yeah, is, 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 it, is, is it loud enough that it would be audible to, uh, to me and the town folks um over make, o- over their massive laughs of course right that's what i'm gonna right. say make uh, I, I would say make me a perception check but you like the you when as soon as you found out that we were hosting a town hall you started getting the jokes ready you and they it. are going over so much better than you thought they were and the crowd is hilarious the crowd is 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 like dying of laughter but you hear uh, in the kitchen, um, like the sounds of like whooshing and whooshing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. And uh, they're all whooshing together. That's cool. Yeah, everybody's every, please whoosh responsibly. Um, and uh, yeah, even even for for right now, you like you thought that it may come to blows, and it's starting to sound that way in the kitchen. Yeah, so I so I look back, and then I look. I kind of look back toward the kitchen, and then I look back toward the the, 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 the like a crowd and say, "Man, it really sounds like a raging lion back there." Uh, as a matter of fact, you ever notice how the bartender in the raging lo- in the raging lion is always grinning, but the bartender in the grinning lion is always raging? Why don't they <laughs> switch jobs? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Sleece is coming for you next. Oh, I love everything about it. I love it so much. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm killing it. You are. I so are, 
is is are you then trying to keep oh. the crowd engaged so that yes, whatever's going exactly, on exactly okay. exactly yeah fantastic yeah i'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm uh, pacing back and forth like uh chris rock and bring the pain uh you know and we're, all right we're, we're getting this you're doing excellent uh, excellent you you, you the have actual them. natural resources to your advantage honestly <laughs> incredible incredible crowd work well truly <laughs> you have them enraptured um and the and you, you've even got like jokes for the kids and the kids are just like ah, ha, 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 you know they're being kids um back in the kitchen uh Solis, why don't you go ahead and make me an attack with advantage oh boy Where's my character sheet? Your AC is 22. I mean, I'm just sad about now realizing. I've got yet. a plus 12 on my sword. Good. Oh, no, no, no. no. Enough for. No, you, I think you're going to be fine. It's all of us who have to then try to hit you. That's the issue. Well, I slit her throat. <laughs> she may just die. Uh-huh. We'll see. All right. Excuse me. Oh, that is a 24. 24. Excellent. Yep. Um, I have a, uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you a, a question in backstage. Oh no. No, it's a good, it's a good question because. Absolutely. I'm, yes. That's you know, why the John Wick hey. thing came up. Excellent. So um, you all for the first time see Celise, like you've never seen a rage like this before. Like calm rage is almost, is undeniably worse than brash and forceful rage and uh it's 24 to hit you get her right in the throat um roll damage um and if you would like to pump some smite into this i would just like to say you have that opportunity okay then in that case um, I'm going to put a thunder smite on that, and it's going to be at fourth level. Heck yeah, we like it. We like it a lot. So this is eight billion d six. Um, it's what four d six at fourth level. Yeah, and a d eight. Oh my God! Why? You why it. all the math? Uh, <laughs> do, oh the no. do the numbers. Do the numbers. <laughs> yes, I am doing the numbers. So that is. Oh my God! I got all great rolls on the d sixes. Eighteen. That is twenty lightning damage mm-hmm. and twelve regular damage. Okay. Uh, so you get this hit off like you like you you like your sword just goes like straight through this doppelganger's neck and it's it's gross um just the and, the the kurosawa blood spurt y- you know if not quite not 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 quite um because you you move so actually i'm gonna i'm gonna uh give, give me just a second because what bonus I do think- i have all raging I think you just get plus two. Then that's going to be add two to whatever that total was. Okay. I've already forgotten. That's okay. Uh, uh, it was it was a lot. Um, yeah, Gazrek, roll me 2d6, please. Absolutely. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay, so we're gonna add seven damage to that. As the 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 as Elise moved through the draconic spirit and like takes this th- that energy with her into yeah. the sword strike. So it's an additional seven points of damage. Yeah, this thing is not looking great. Um, like y- yeah, there's a sword in its throat, and it's not like you it 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 sinks to its knees and as you, you as it begins to like like the blood does can like begin to like seep out from under the sword wound and just like not quite kurosawa like there's a little bit of kurosawa as the sword goes through but like it's very subtle and um it says 
my job here is complete. Whatever happens now, I've done what I can. And I'm gonna take a creative license to say that Gosrick's draconic spirit just like eats it. Ooh. Yeah. I, love I think in a, ra- in a rage, yeah, the dragon really? just like steps forward and just mm. Oh, damn, I, I wanted that, that equipment. How's that doppelganger? Oh, wait, um, the spirit can spit it back up. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. Also, <laughs> I also think Kent is gonna walk in as this creature is being eaten, uh, <laughs> just saying like, <clears throat> just saying like there are so many plans we have to quest well <laughs> <laughs> shit uh but yeah you you see like as um like the 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 creature is beginning to lose like Celise form because like you did over half of its damage in one go <gasps> so uh yeah it's it immediately begins to like quiver and like shift and it's like the the features become a little distended and you can clearly tell that yes this was this was a doppelganger and Celise it doesn't eat the whole thing it just like takes the head oh that's all what's that all I mean she's wearing better stuff than me she stole my life I would like this nice coat from the caldera since, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean since, sensing this like honestly you know Virgil's like don't worry uh like what's 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 that's is yours now. So trust me, you can go ahead and get yourself some new shit. This or is all drink, punctuated by uh, <laughs> raucous laughter coming from the main hall. Incredible! Um, I so, wanna, this is I, such a. I had no idea Shaka could kill it like that. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna say I had no idea Shaka could kill it like that. It's a lot of killing going on today. This has been a very surprising day on all fronts. <laughs> we can say that. Oh my God, Celise. Yes, God's we are Rick. so sorry. We, I, I am, I personally, I, sh- I don't know. If, first off, also you all, I owe you an apology. I had a lot of resentment for you all for not instantly knowing I was in the doppelganger. And wow, shoe on the other foot right now. In like, like really, I, I get it. So with that, at least I also understand the betrayal you must feel. I well, I don't. Oh, yeah. I think I can understand. I don't want to say it's one to one, but I, I, I think. I get this is awful. This is really bad. Like what? Someone is, is that person could have been leaking our information for so long. And so, while you all are doing this, Celise just goes down and hugs Fenris and she actually is crying. Like while you all are having this conversation. It, there is a, there is a moment where um i was actually rolling uh insights for for the dog um there, there's a moment where like the 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 wolf kind of like stiffens but like in in that way that anybody who has been hugged very suddenly stiffens. like, yeah. like uh, yeah exactly um but then you hear fenris start to whine a little bit and then you pull away to just kind of like look the wolf in the face and he like, he licks your face. Like he's like trying to like wipe your tears, wipe like, oh. you know, in that way that dogs do. Um, and he, you, you see him, he, he sniffs at your face like while he's doing this and um, his tail does start to wag a little bit because even though like this Celeste has been with you all for a while, you smell like the manor where mm-hmm. he, like where it, which is his home now. And like, you 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 get it like he's 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 good he he even might be a little apologetic but it's good it's all good yeah virgil virgil next to as this is happening just puts a puts a hand on Celise and presta digitations presta digitates presta blah, 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 blah. all the road dirt away and it's just like yeah welcome home <laughs> presta digitates yeah yeah you got one. it nailed it Yes, press the digitation would be the act of doing, but you press to digitate <laughs> the dirt away. You press the digitated, right? Now it's past time. Oh, it's past no, time. please. This has been grammar. Super califragilistic press to digitation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you did not just do that. Yes, I can't yes, give you S-U-D-E-R. any more inspiration, <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah, Kent is uh, Kent is affixing a little charm a new charm uh, to his bracelet 
that is in the shape of Selyse's shield, but the symbol of tear emblazoned on it is upside down. Um, and I just sort of affix that to my charm bracelet and then go over and make sure everyone's okay. Yeah, and I mean, there's a there's a pile of goop. Well, right, not floor. that. That one's not okay, and that's right. Okay. No, that one's not okay. <laughs> and there there's a there's a pile of goop on the floor, and a draconic spirit just kind of like hanging out. I I I'm I think okay I, with that. That's kind of dope. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what, so would the draconic spirit eat the goop? Oh. No. I, it, it, I think it's like a manifestation no. of my energy. I, I don't think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's just up there kind of like hanging, like snorting uncomfortably about it being mad. Also, as I'm reading the spell, I realize that this thing can speak draconic and understand languages I speak. So never mind. This is for like, if I want, if we need to do any dragon training. I, have, I haven't, we have an option. I just, yeah. I just feel bad for everything Gosrick summons because it just has the worst day immediately. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Instantly. I mean, the draconic spirit, though, it got like a, a, a helping of head cheese. It's okay. I like tap it a few times and like kind of like inhale with it as it like disperses back into my uh, body. Um, yeah, it, it like flies up into the air and then like flies up and then like flies down into you. And like just before it vanishes back into your body, it does that whole um, like Sailor Moon monster of the week style thing where you see like the silhouette of the dragon above you before it like coalesces into your form oh yeah oh that's gonna come out later i have another spell for that but yeah <laughs> uh, okay so salise long stories short uh yes they went and fought a dragon kent and i weren't there uh we wait uh the the dragon egg hatched and it's a baby and it's forming a mini lord under the manor uh, we are trying our best to figure out how best to improve upon the North Ward, um, which is why that's going out out there. And if you uh, happen to have a need to go to the Castle Lanterns Mansion, and if they're extra scared of you, uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Just lean into it. What? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what lot. we've been saying. I said short. Year, I said so. that was. I said long short. You know, like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so so while she she's still like hugging Fenris. And then when she hears you talk about improving the North Ward, she turns around and goes, whose idea was that? I mean, I know. Of, it, was, I, it was kind Brian, of Brian knows and is waiting no. for the rest of the faces no. to be like. Oh. oh, my God. Yeah. Brian is waiting for the rest of the faces to be like. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of, I mean, it was kind of all of our ideas. If it, it felt like a wild what like oh. theory at first uh, for me i was like oh what if we like invest no. in our and then and then you um i remember no Virg i i distinctly remember i was just enjoying the walk and focusing on kent's outfit but then virgil looks at kent and says whose idea was it uh, looks at the the shield trinket back at you over to Celise. I really liked this one and I'm gonna tear the shield trinket off and no. like it was hers. Just put it back, keep it. We may need to question that later. Uh, we don't think we wanna question it now. I mean, here's the thing. I don't regret the goo on the floor, but also, you know, all things considered, she was very helpful. Which is what I'm questioning. It's like, I'm trying to see- Oh so, wait, how hold on, the real me wasn't helpful? No, the real you was imprisoned by doppelgangers, so you were helping. But you, it... the real me met you. Oh no, no, I'm not saying I want to trade. I'm just saying, right? Sorry, leaving things out. I went out back to question the faux wizard of Fay, the red wizard of faux. How did we? What was the name? We had a fun name for it. I don't remember what it was. We did. We didn't count. Uh, right. Wasn't oh, yeah, it was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cool name. I forgot it. Um, the Red Wizard of Fake. I don't know. Uh, and uh, turns out that that uh, that I think the doppelgangers have like a whole bevy of plans for us. And I just question whether those plans include us coming to harm. Because like she helped us kill a dragon and stuff. I, again, I don't regret the goo. I simply think there might be more to the story. <laughs> Also, I like trying to understand what's, what is the harm? 
in bettering the North Ward? What was the play? What ways were we being manipulated in what seems to be still a good I, I I'm like I'm questioning everything now. You know, things have been really quiet. And I wonder if maybe that was by design. Maybe it's not about us coming to harm because, well, we've killed, you have killed a great worm and we have killed a demon lord. So maybe it's just about keeping us busy and out of the way. Right now, I don't care. I want my room, my bed. And I want all these people out of our house. Laughter. I cut to Shaka. <laughs> like, uh, like, uh, cut, cut to Shaka. You got one more, Shaka? Oh, I have a, a whole Yes. A whole oh, I'm so happy oh, to yeah, hear that. Yes. It's, a very tight, it's a very tight set. Let's go. It's been good. Yes! Yeah, 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 it's <laughs> The moment the raging lion came out, I was like, oh, great. Ten, ten jokes. That's it. You got to go. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. We didn't, so, charge them a, we didn't charge them a drink minimum. So like, <laughs> like they are, they are paying for the, like the, like they're paying for food and stuff. Yeah. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Like, okay. so yeah. the, actually, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to insert one teeny little thing during that entire conversation because of how big the kitchen is yeah. like during, during this, 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 comedy of errors between Shaka and Shaka being a fantastic comedian and the conflict going on in the kitchen, Duo and Brian are absolutely running back and forth in the kitchen, getting food out to people, seeing this and just like happens all happens all the right. time. Just That's Brian between himself. y'all. <laughs> right. Just, just flashes <laughs> come in, knives are out, come back in, doppelgangers headless. <laughs> yep. That tracks. Yeah. Yep. So I'm sorry I didn't I interrupt it. you, Sharif. Go ahead with your set, please. <laughs> Oh, sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I think at this point, Shaka's is getting a, a little nervous because he's definitely heard not only the loud uh, noise, he has probably heard, uh, the commotion amongst, uh, a spirit being summoned and eating someone. Uh, I imagine that was fairly loud and the smite was also probably fairly loud. Um, but so he's getting a little nervous, I would say. Um, but he kind of gathers his resolve um and and he looks at the uh crowd and he says so this place is called troll skull manor troll skull manor right what what's the acronym for for uh troll troll skull manor anybody know out there anybody tsm 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 maybe troll skull manor should stand for <laughs> you know, Edge you know, of Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. He, he went into the camera. It was so <laughs> funny. It was so funny. Um, maybe TSM should stand for That's So Magnificent. Make me another charisma check. Oh, yeah. You hear a boo from the kitchen. <laughs> Oh, this yeah. one, this one is a straight four. roll now because collective uh, reactions of everyone on chat is like, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's, mm. it's gone. Mm. Okay, you fail. that is a crit <laughs> fail. <laughs> yeah, no. that's a crit yeah. fail. I mean, you can't yeah. win them all. Can't win them all. Yeah. God, oh, God, I love, perfection. I love our story so much. I love the roles have been great, honestly. They're yeah, telling their own story, story the, man. The dice are the dice are like a co-writer at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So it that one. Like you're, you, you have hit the peak and you are descending a little faster than you expected. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I know, I know. I'm trying to get y'all laughing a little bit. You, you got to throw in some bad jokes in there with the good ones, right? It, um, it can't be all good. I, I mean, I don't want like my people out here. I don't, you know, I, I don't want. Y- you ought to get like heart attacks from laughing or anything. So I got to bring it down a little bit. Got to be bad. And Can be Celeste good. just it's show a wave. up? Yeah, like on, on hearing on hearing that everything outside sort of went from like <laughs> the rise to fall. Uh, yeah, Virgil's gonna ask everyone in the kitchen to like let's 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 head back out, um, and uh, and see if we can resolve um, 
some of this. That was another reason that he kind of like he made sure to clean Solis up because, like, oh sure, I don't know, like maybe, <laughs> maybe there was this costume change in the, in the kitchen. You don't even know, <laughs> like whatever. We, um, yeah, we should probably head back out there and 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 finish this event. <laughs> and definitely no mention of potential future nefarious doppelganger plans right now. It just yeah, we need to like bad timing to inform the war. <laughs> we, yeah, we need yeah, we need to lock that down. Yeah, fair. <laughs> um, so yeah, Virgil's asking everyone to come back out to the kitchen to the like. We'll take our we'll like uh, Kent and Virgil and Solis and Fenris retake their positions near the more front, and and Gosric can do what Gosric was. Do- what was Gosric doing? I forgot. With he was with vibe checking. Right? Yeah. He was vibe checking and being jealous about cookies, I think. Is what yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, right. I mean, it's still mad that Leaf is the prom- predominant chef here. Like, uh, he got well, fired from his Honestly, look at look at all job. the work that you would have had to do right now. So, yes, you know. Okay. I, I did. Emotionally, I feel much more resolved about one thing, but still unresolved about the other. We'll, we'll work through it. Yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. So as, as Shaka sees everybody come out, he says, all right, that's my time, y'all. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everybody. Um, if you have any other questions for uh, for the first husbands, please ask them. Um, if not, you know, then uh, you know we can tell you about the next meeting that we're gonna have. Uh, and then you see maybe like two or three people in the crowd go, "Oh, thank goodness." <laughs> That last joke really died. Oh my gosh! It feels like Chris Alio. Damn. I also just imagine when when Chaka's like, if you all have any other questions, like everyone's hand goes up, seeing us coming. <laughs> yeah, police. a little bit, a, a little bit. <laughs> uh, but 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 yeah, the, like the the mood. Actually, I will say that the mood in the room is a lot more jovial. Like, even though that last joke did not hit so well, like, you do see, like, there, like, people have drinks, people have food, the kids more, like, more or less, like, they got some of the jokes, they didn't get some of the jokes, but the kids have, like, kind of sectioned themselves off into, like, a kid's table, and they're, like, playing cards or something. Yeah. The kids are playing spades. Don't ask. Ooh, oh, yes. that's, okay, dang, oh, that's, no. that's real. That's real Y'all can go, there. we gotta join this. Cut right. <laughs> Yeah, I, I if uh yeah if, if the if the attention's back on us like Virgil basically just says um that wait uh, thank you Shaka for um <laughs> thank you Shaka for for keeping everyone um for keeping everyone entertained while we dealt with exactly the kinds of situations that have concerned you in Waterdeep and. That is exactly the kind of thing that we wanted to talk to you all about today. We have heard your concerns. And as you see, this going forward is how we would hope to deal with these surprising situations at no effect to you, but handled calmly and internally, and with also no effect to the surrounding ward. And if nothing else, comes from our gathering today we really hope that you will take that message home with you that we do not just consider ourselves adventurers but we also consider ourselves residents and we will start thinking more about where it is that we live and how that affects us and you yeah make me that charisma check with advantage hey uh, where what do i do uh, hold on just do a straight it. check do yep it. just straight check let's do, oh, do the thing okay do it you can do it. That's the one. Okay. Oh. Well, 15, because one of those is a crit. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Nice. We love okay. it. Okay. Um, so yeah, you see, like there is a as you finish your as 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 your your words wash over the crowd, and there is a a the, the crowd kind of comes to a silence because like some of them are still kind of like repeating uh Shaka's best jokes to themselves and the kids are really loud at the spades table for some reason. Well, yeah. It's just, mm. I know it's it's the This is real, yeah. Right, it's real. <laughs> um I said and four in- books, four books. <laughs> <laughs> so many- Don't do this to me. That was very good. I thought um, Brian was going to lose his drink. I said four. <laughs> I really wanted to open this whole thing with a full-on spit take, but this is actually really good cocktail, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, and the the vibe, like you all get this immediately. No insight checks required. Like some of these people really want to ask where the other Celise went, but oh. they think that that's probably not the best question. I'm so glad because I would have been um, real torn about lying about it, but also. Mm. <laughs> uh, and and it's handled. Right, right. it's it's handled. <laughs> right, they don't want to know what that means. Good. You all are adventurers. I am, mm-hmm. I, and I'm glad that they recognize that there has to be a little bit of that. Like, yes. do you really want to know, though? Um, and so one of the uh, one of the people in the back, who you know, as we have discussed, is one of the more affluent members of the North Ward, and says, uh, "Well, to be honest with you, this was pretty neat. I the." I wasn't expecting a comedy show at this town hall, but Shock is actually pretty funny. Um, with with uh, murmurs of agreement uh, yeah. through through the through through the crowd and and um, uh, a couple who's sitting somewhere in the middle of the crowd uh, with a young child on their lap. They say, they say, honestly, if things were a little bit more like this, I think uh, you, 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 the situation has been handled. I'm not going to ask any questions, but the situation has been handled? Because that's what's just raises an eyebrow. Uh, Kent will say, yes, this situation has been handled. Excellent. If things were more like this, I think uh, I'd be okay with it. And she turns to, to her partner and, and she says, yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with this. And then the murmurs just kind of like ripple out from them. Great. A success. Well, um, fantastic. We don't, thank you all. Um, we have a lot of uh, notes from you all about specific things. We're going to start looking at calendars for our first Northward block party. Mm. Uh, seems seems some of the younger, uh, younger ward residents have already sort of uh, started getting to know each other and you're going to lose that book. Um, and are playing together. Uh, so there's work to be done, but uh, we will do our best to handle any situations that come up like this and keep keep the communication flowing mm-hmm. between all of us. You all are, there is, an, there is a brief, <laughs> there is a brief and sort of reflexive glance at Celise, knowing what she did just say, uh, but kept, kept soldiers on and says, you all are always welcome at Troll Skull Manor. Um, and with that, the, the crowd seems to understand that for more, like more or less the town hall is over. You see some of them get up and, and start heading home. Uh, there are some people who still have food, so they're going to stay and they're going to finish their food. Yeah, um, the kids are not done playing spades. No. Um, no. The you see the the parents walk past the table and they're just like, "Look, just come straight home when you're finished, please." Um, and uh, and no taking money from Jameson again. You know he's bad. He's so you could help him ah. get better, but you just choose to take his money. Stop it. Um. Yes. And uh, poor Jameson. Poor, poor Jameson. Um, and the little old ladies all become one. They take their empty plates. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought no, they were no, merging no, into, into They right. form into the, they <laughs> like, form into the oh big God. old ladies' word. Like, what just happened there? <laughs> the one of the them stepped forward to, to yes. resolve the issue. I was like, oh, this mega. is going to be bad. I was right. I was right all along. These old ladies are the true evil of this game. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> no, they they converge into their little old lady huddle with yeah. empty plates. Mm-hmm. Bitty squad. Let's sure. Go. Right, sure. bitty squad. And they especially they a, a room with Shaka, you know those plates are empty. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, cook, um, cook, cookies are if there's any leftover cookies, uh there uh, aren't. aren't anymore. Shaka's there vacuuming aren't. Shaka's vacuuming them up. Yeah. No, they're they 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 aren't, but they can see. Uh, Maggie sees uh, as you as she approaches you, and you're looking very expectantly at that empty cookie plate. Um, I can't stand all of you. Uh, the uh, <laughs> she says that was you did such a good job, and she like she pats your cheek. Oh, th- thank you. Oh, cheek. Uh, Shaka's. 
That's better than a paladin blessing. God damn. Like, <laughs> no, it's not. You just you just hear sleeps behind you. It's not. <laughs> uh, thanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for getting people to come and show up. And uh, hopefully, you know, I know that you, you know, you know, you always put your reputation on the line, right? When you invite people to something that you're not yeah. sure about. So, I, uh, you know, you put your faith in 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 us and we appreciate that. So if there's anything you need, um, just let us know. Um, still deal still open for Maggie's cookies at the front desk too. If you, uh, if you want to take a bite, uh, but, uh, other, other than that, you know, we can, uh, uh, just let us know anything. You have an open line, open line. Uh, abs- uh, absolutely. Th- thank you. Um, you'll, you'll be hearing from, I mean, well, you'll be hearing from us soon, I suppose. And, uh, Maggie turns to Celise and she says, it's good to see you. And Celise just nods. She's not really feeling chatty. She's okay. like, she's like, I'm, well, we don't have watches, but she's kind of like. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she gives you this kind of like this smile mm. that, 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 that old, that, that older women have that it's just like, I understand. <laughs> um, and they all say their goodbyes. And for the most part, the, 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 ta- it's probably about, I said the town hall started about eight bells. It's probably like nine and a half bells at this point. Um. And aside from the people who are eating, you're left alone. So the first thing Sh- 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 Shaka does, he says, what happened? <laughs> uh, um, uh, <laughs> so we're, we're not alone, right? We're not alone alone? You're not alone alone, but oh, you we're can not retreat. Alone. Like, like you, you, you can head into okay. like the office right, or go upstairs. Yeah, or- yeah. yeah I, I like definitely motion that we go somewhere <laughs> uh, private. And then once we get there, I say, what happened? Yeah. Where is... You know, because because I still don't know which lease is which. Right. right oh, right. you were about to know. So, we, we'll fill you in. But we were all. I'm confused. like, what happened? Yeah. Um, and Celise actually like reaches over and grabs Shaka by the lapel and pulls him in. How did Hello. you not know? It was not me. How? Well, I mean, there's a lot going on. I mean, uh, she's very convincing. I mean. No, You've but- been with me since day one of this adventure. That's bullshit, Shaka. Shorafka. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you calling me? Oh. Hold on. I, this is a very serious moment. Shaka, is that your full name? Yeah, I don't think anyone's heard that before. Um, <laughs> really? Wow. Yes. Definitely uh, never used it, no. <laughs> and then and That then was I, like the, you in trouble. Yeah, and then I, I kind of looked down and say. Yeah, I don't claim to be perfect. Uh, I I should have known. I just don't. Perfect. Yeah, I should have known. Um, what it's worth, Celise, I went with her to the Temple of Tear, and it was an odd experience. But she knew a lot about us, and you, and Tear didn't. Uh, well, anyway, as far as I could see when I was there, didn't turn her away. Yeah, there yeah, were that's a the lot thing, right? of things. Tear that... recognized her. Well, I mean, I didn't hear right? his side of the conversation, but he certainly didn't, you know, smite her where she stood. Yeah. Oh my. So this is look, a look. Look. I don't know. And Sleece, you actually just see a like this moment of anger and hurt before she just turns away from you, Shaka. Like her oldest friend that's here, you didn't know. Yeah, and Shaka, he just kind of looks around. He just says, I don't know what to do now. Um, Did we get any information as to where this thing came from or why it did what it did or anything? I don't know. Not really, other than the fact that there are larger things of motion that were apparently getting played by more individuals. And I'll be real, we got to be better about this. Because, I mean, like, uh, uh, doppelgangers in particular, because, like, they tricked us once, shame on them. They've now tricked us twice, okay? They, they, like, I mean, not all of us twice. Like, Salisa and I only once. The rest of you, like, really got to get it together. I'm just <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> fooled. I was being <laughs> held captive. Yeah, guys. me too. Me too, dude. Me too. But uh, old Gosric, you didn't know that, you know? You didn't like, know old Gosric that well. 
now really that just gotta hurts. stop leaving the house now that hurts point. okay <laughs> That's exactly what Ken's thinking. We just gotta stop going outside. Oh, fine. Look, fine. look. It's been a long year, and however long, I don't even know. Time has lost meaning at this point. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure the water is hot. If you need to take a bath, let me make sure your sheets are clean. Yeah, will you deserve a good night's rest? Hmm. Actually, a good week's at the very least. Right. At least I... nothing is happening now. And we obviously need time to reflect on what we've learned. Mm -hmm. mm. Also, you have about like 50,000 gold. Sorry, 60,000. <laughs> mm. And I see the I think that we're gonna stop there. I think that is the perfect yeah, outline the perfect. for this perfect episode. Way. Yeah, yeah. For, for this episode. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Um, so so oh good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have um, the questions from last week that we did not answer. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. So yes, it is. Oh, uh, now I know why is... you delayed that question. Oh mm -hmm. man. Uh huh. Ooh. It is rivals question time. What an episode, y'all! Yeah, I, wow. That was I have never been more proud as of of my players <sighs> and of myself. Yeah, because okay. uh, you know a, a, a little bit of a, a little bit above the clouds. Like I I want to talk about how the how things end up working in in D and D and stuff like that. So this particular section of the of the the season had only been formed fully formed maybe two episodes ago like this was a this was a thing that that Celeste wanted to do with her character and I was like yes absolutely let's do this Celeste wanted to do with her character yes Celeste yeah. wanted to do with herself see I keep telling you we that talk happens. about each I was... other and you know what yeah. I mean yeah. <sighs> This is the thing that Tanya wants to do. With her. Yeah, Tanya wants to do this with her character, and I was like, "Absolutely, I already see kind of how this is going to work." And then, as we are, as this reveal and resolution is happening, all of the things that came before this decision that seemed so out of character for Celise come forward to be like. We absolutely should have known. <laughs> yeah, I, that's all I keep thinking. It was like, oh, that's weird that Tanya made that choice. Ah, maybe they're trying something new. That's weird. That's not what I typically expected, but okay. I love it. And it's it. like, oh, God. Yeah. Well, and we also knew that Celise, you know, Celise has, has had some, you know, soul searching moments where we Change. got Ranger Celise and Barbarian Celise. And, right. and so it was like, you know, maybe it's part of that. Yeah. Oh, it was all um, a lie. Uh huh. It was all a lie all along. So kudos to, to you mm -hmm. all for for this fantastic story that we are almost done telling. God, um, only two more episodes of the season. That's we got wild. two more episodes. Yeah, it's yeah this wild. is episode eight. Um, so kudos to you all. And I'm I'm gonna pat myself on the back too because the DM the DM wheels were turning <laughs> this <laughs> week. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's going to be real fun to finally like put together and like have that whole thing laid out. So um, while we wait for other questions, you, uh, Celise, T Tanya. Do you want to feel those ones that we had last week? Yeah, sure. I got you. I can help you out. Uh, let's see. Uh, so one of the questions uh, for you was, uh, so you just saw yourself walk in the door. This is from Miss Tori J. What's the first thing that runs through your mind? So this would be doppelganger. Celise That's for answering. other Celise. Yes. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, how did she get out? Ooh, mm. That's good. Uh, so this is like, oh, this is bad. How did she right. get out? <laughs> right. Second question. Uh, what are your initial thoughts for this other Celise? This um, question is for real Celise. Yes, real Celise is like, how dare you? And then for a split second, she was like, oh God, this is Gosrick all over. Fair. Oh man. Question for oh, the blue eyes white oh, dragon God. now, which is I'm gonna hand this actually to Latia. What how did the doppelganger taste? Um it 
didn't really taste like anything. It's like it's like eating a jelly, uh, a gummy that has no flavor. Mm. And then like it dissolves in your mouth, but not in the best way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then it, it like it like vanishes. And then it disappears. Another one for uh fake Salisa's ghost. On a scale of zero to ten, how's your experience uh with this last season with the rival? I'm gonna say that should Kent ever actually summon once again the spirit of the fake Salise from the charm? That will be answered at oh. that point. But right now, I'm not ready for a Yelp review from some doppelganger that was hanging right. with us for a season. <laughs> Yelp uh, no, uh, no, uh, no. Uh, uh, <laughs> I got, I got your answer right here. We'll, we'll, we'll Whoa, find out. We'll, we'll find out about that. Wow. Good question. Did yeah, you actually Brian, like us. <laughs> the Brian yeah. literally stole the words out of my mouth. <laughs> Good. Yeah, the wheels are turning about those previous seasons. Oh my god. Oof. Uh, I'm going to abstain from the next question to send me because A, I don't know right now, and B, I just don't feel like answering that question right now. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Oh, yeah. All, all, questions, all questions are yeah, are weird. subject to, to <laughs> characters right. <laughs> characters' willingness to oh, answer no. questions. This, this one is oh, this, this one is gonna be amazing. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shaka, do you do, you do kids parties? Do you? Right, what's your availability like on the 17th? Uh, I have not done previous kids parties, but based on today's reaction, uh, I think when we're not on an adventure uh, and I need to keep myself busy and uh, stay off of these kind of, you know, death defying things, maybe, uh, you know, maybe as part of our services to the North Ward, right? I can, uh, you know. Do some birthdays, uh, uh, water deep bar mitzvahs, whatever the equivalent is. Uh, you know, maybe some uh, some uh, sweet sixteens. You know, you know some water deep quinceañeras. You know, uh, you know. Guar- guaranteed. When we have our first North Ward block party, we are we are absolutely giving Shaka. Like I don't know. I think at this point we could definitely give a tight thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think. The- the, I think I would do like that thing where I'm like sitting above the water, yeah, and I'm telling jokes, and you have to throw the thing at the uh, oh, the dunk tank. No, yeah, dunk tank? yeah. No, you yeah, are yeah. better. No, you are better than a dunk tank. I would tank. sacrifice no. myself for the hey, joy. You've been doing a lot of, of open North mics of the Raging Lion. Okay, we know you've been putting in the time. You've been workshopping this material. Yeah, Believe yeah. Yourself, dude. we yeah. got to give you like we got to give you a set and MC duties, obviously. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so the, the like short answer is yes. Now I am. Yes. <laughs> that was not before, yeah. but now I am. Um, let's go ahead and do our outros because I usually we usually do outros while we take questions. But this was such a good episode. I just had to, I just had to praise you all because this is it's so great when it comes when it all comes together, and it's even better yeah. when it comes together and you were not expecting it to come together so well. Uh, so let's go in reverse order and start with uh, Masood. Hey, everyone. It's me, Masood. I play Gazik Nomrad. Uh, he, him, or pronouns. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maroodboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Oh, stuff that got uh, I've got going on this week. Um, I'm going to be doing an Elden Ring stream on yeah. the Rivals channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've got else, some other else, stuff. What else you got oh, this right. week? I don't April know. April yeah. 6th. Gazrix <laughs> joining Idol Champions. Get hey, on it. Hey, hey. You're going to have hold based attacks to slow your enemies and do extra damage to those with armor. You're going to be able to um, get his uh, lovely event in the green grass set. So you can also get the arch druid clothes that he'll be wearing. Um, and truly, I'm, I keep saying this, my favorite part about him is not the fact that he's got his dad polo and shorts. It's not the fact that is 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 like little like snowflake chain looks great. It's the fact that they gave him a rival's stall. There is a cart with bobbleheads of the other rivals, and and you can it's you can't see the script, but know the contents of the book on the top are the unauthorized authorized biography of Salisa Astoria. But please, <laughs> oh please go go check them it. out. It's they really helped get all these wonderful Easter eggs put in, and they crushed it. Um, so yeah, go check it out. I'm excited to get them as soon as I can on Wednesday. It's going to be a good time. Mm. Yes. Keep an eye uh, on your Twitter for uh, other announcements. Oh, my bad. 
Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah yeah keep on twitter for other announcements because we'll definitely yeah. make those happen yeah uh <laughs> hi everybody i'm okay i'm dm jazzy hands uh you can check me out on the twitters and here on the twitches at dm jazzy hands um this was so fun i don't even know what else i do this is all there is uh no not true <laughs> so tomorrow night uh 8 p.m eastern 5 p.m pacific we are back with a familiar quest uh, where I play Pest, the Colonel Pest, the Pest mascot worm druid adventurer that is now in Idol Champions uh, as a familiar character. Um, so we've got this Monday and the next Monday our pre-recorded episodes that we recorded during uh, Idol Champions Presents during our little hiatus. And then April 18th or 17th, whichever is the Monday, uh, we'll be back live to finish out our season live. Uh, so we've paused our recording so that we can be back with you all. So hmm. catch up, uh, we'll be there on tomorrow night at eight Eastern. Uh, for weird Brovia <clears throat> shenanigans. Uh, I have a podcast where we release D &D episodes of an actual play D&D game thing. Wow, words. Every Wednesday, I'm going to record some more episodes of that now. Uh, so check that out. It's called The Last Refuge. And y'all, do I do anything else publicly right now? No, that's it. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. Hi. Uh, this has been amazing to return to. Uh, I, I'm loving to see now what you know, the fact is, once you do this now, do you retcon or do you not retcon? Because what does everything that came before mean all of a sudden? Oh, my mystery brain is activated. But you can catch me on everywhere on social media as Urban Bohemian. Uh, I am going to be on Twitch this week. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to play. Probably Ghostwire Tokyo. And then maybe I still have Tunic and Tiny Tina's. Actually, we should all play Tiny Tina's because yes. we can all multiplay that. Um, and this Saturday, uh, April 9th, I have got, um, I'm going to be over on twitch.tv slash sauce mm. fire uh with mercy road three the old tree caper eight games 40 players one dm for wow. 24 consecutive hours of dnd wow. benefiting yeah. ch benefiting child's play so <laughs> i'm thankfully the players aren't playing for 24 hours because oh my god but um but yeah uh that will be wow. this saturday after my usual stream and then of course next sunday back with these wonderful folks Sharif. Hey, I'm um, Sharif. You can find me at sharifjackson.com, S-H-A-R-E-E-F, jackson.com, Sharif Jackson on all social networks. Uh, you can check me out at Bombs Beyond Time, Mage the Ascension campaign at twitch.tv slash Kira858. Um, we're having a blast with that. Um, it's a very interesting system, a lot more technical than a D&D, but like very, very fun. Um, and also there, uh, because I know that our uh, wonderful producer, Noir, just started uh, Fracture Destinies DMing a campaign over there uh, with sex tuplets uh, <laughs> battling. Uh, this is actually pretty, pr pr pretty, pretty cool. He just put his headphones on because he's like, "What's going on?" Um, yeah, so, uh, so like, make sure to ch check that out as well. Uh, just started um, at uh, Kira eight five eight as well. Um, and also, I want to say, L L L Latia, this happened a couple of episodes ago, but. You debuted uh, at C2E2 when I was DMing episode 57. You have now officially been on more than half of the total Rivals episodes. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty nuts. Well uh, so you are, <laughs> you are as you are basically like as OG as the original people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so it's pretty sweet. I, so, uh, so, 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 so yeah, I just wanted to call that out. Thanks Thank you. Uh, Tanya. Uh, what am I not doing this week, actually? Uh, so Tuesday is my birthday. Happy birthday. And I'm doing a charity stream on my channel. Uh, some friends are going to come over. Yehini will be there as one of those friends. And we're going to talk about our video game thirst and actually raise money for Chicago Community Bond Fund. Mm -hmm. um, and you all are amazing. I put the tweet out and we're almost at our first goal already of $500. Nice. Haven't, haven't streamed yet, but yeah. So uh, Yohenny will be there, the Opera Geek, uh, NK Jemison, Matt Mercer, uh, Mika Sargent, and a few other friends are going to just drop by. And we're just going to be silly, have fun, and raise money. Um, but thank you to Idol Champions, Voice Mod, and Logitech. They gave us loot. And uh, we have some wave of codes we didn't use during that stream. So there's a lot of loot to be had if you all can come off some coin for a good cause. And then Saturday, April 9th, I'm uh, in a game with B-Day Walters to benefit... Oh God, what is it? Because I just pulled the tweet up and I'm the worst person. Um, the Burbank Arts and Education Foundation. So uh, it's me, B. Dave, Xander Genre, Sage Ryan, um, Gabe James Games. I'm sorry, not Sage. 
Oh no, Sage, Gabe, CB, Critical Bar, Daniel Kwan, Xanderific, and me at yes. uh, 12 p.m. Pacific. I don't know what channel. I have to ask Dave where we're doing this. And then um, Black Dice Society is back, and we're in Barovia, and things have gotten really weird, and we're in the middle of a fight with the caller. Fen may or may not live. I don't know. I had one hit point at the end of that episode. Um, one out of 80, and she's shrunk. Um, I think that's it. I don't know. And, of course, Sunday back here. <laughs> So other things that I can't yet announce, but there's big news coming soon that I can reveal, I hope. Um, but yeah, and find me over at Cypher of Tear. Yay. And uh, I have been your Dungeon Master, Liz Uh In two hours, mm -hmm. if you are Chicago local, you can find me at Fair Game Store in Downers Grove uh, doing a Q&A wow. and book signing for Call of the Netherdeep. Um, mm -hmm. And with... Shout with Sharif having mentioned that now I've been here for um over half of the rivals episodes. I will say, like, there have been a lot of talk about how, as far as critical role is concerned, I've gone from fan to writer, but I did it with rivals first. <laughs> like straight, like straight up. Like oh, when Rivals up. premiered in 2018, I was like, Oh my god, they're Chicago local goals, 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 goals. And then when Serena approached me to guest, thank you so much, Brian. Uh, when uh, Serena approached me to guest and that ended up becoming this and, and ended up becoming this, I was mm -hmm. like, well, uh, goals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can find me there. Um, I may do some stuff this week. Um, Tanya, if you've got time and space for me, I'd love to come on Tuesday. Um, yes, let's stream. talk right after the show. I was like, okay. Tuesday, what? Yeah. Oh, your birthday. <laughs> that, that thing that you're doing on Tuesday, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, that. And then uh, I will be disappearing into the PS5 hole because I just got one. Uh, yeah. We're playing some Elden Ring and some Tiny Tina's. And then next Sunday is my birthday. Yeah. So Woo! I will be, uh, we will be having some birthday shenanigans for, for me on, on next Sunday when we come back. And we are four minutes over, so we are going to go. We love you all so much. I love you all so much. We're going to go raid the Opera Geek. Um, is she still raising money? Maybe. I think Maybe. it's going till the end of the month, but she's raising money for MS. Stop right. MS. Cool. Well, regardless of whatever she's doing, go over there. Have a great time. We will see you all next week. We love you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>